Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to another Overwatch Character Spotlight, this time taking a look at... Zarya. So guys, Zarya is one of the tank classes that you find in Overwatch, and she's a lot of fun to play. Uh, tank classes typically tend to have a lot of uh, health and have an ability to protect your allies from damage. Um, most of them, for the most part, have that ability, and Zarya is no exception. Uh, she's a lot of fun to play because she's Together, a pretty good counter. So let's take a look at her abilities. So first off, she's got her Particle Cannon, which is her primary weapon. It's got short-range linear beam weapon, and its right-click ability is an energy grenade launcher. Notice on the bottom right, she has about 100 ammo. So holding left-click here... does a not insignificant amount of damage. Not. Promising, but not good enough. Not bad, right? Uh, but there's something we can do to improve that, which we'll get to in a moment. All right, I'm gonna let these guys recharge themselves. Right click uses 25 of your ammo and does, you know, a decent amount of area of effect damage. Not a huge amount, but you know, it gets the job done. Notice it doesn't look like headshots do much more damage with her. Now, her other abilities are barriers. You can either put a barrier on yourself with your left shift ability or project a barrier on a nearby ally. Notice also on the right, her passive energy boost. Damage blocked by barriers increases particle cannon damage. And you can see the boost multiplier as a number directly below your reticle. So see how that's a zero at the moment? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit E to protect this friendly bot from damage. Go, and notice that now it's 12, right? And it's going to slowly decrease. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and activate some energy here. So notice how I wasn't really taking much damage there. Nice. And I'm also getting that multiplier boost. That can go as much as 100. And once it's fully boosted, it might be a little hard to demonstrate here in the uh, training range. Uh, it actually gets pretty good. So here we are at 20% increase. Notice how much faster we're doing damage. Cool. So, long story short, those uh, projected barriers will increase the damage that Zarya is capable of doing. Do notice how short it lasts on your allies as well as yourself. It's only about a second or two that that projected damage is there, and then you have a 10 second cooldown on uh, your own projectile, and an 8 second cooldown on your allies. So, Pretty big cooldown, but it will protect you from damage. Now, the other thing I want to mention about these barriers is it does not completely make you immune to damage. It will protect a significant amount of damage, but some very powerful and damaging abilities uh, can actually uh, break it, and eventually you'll start taking damage again. But I've survived, like, Hanzo shots through this thing. I've survived uh, Junkrat explosions, like his ultimate. So some really powerful um, ultimate abilities can uh, protect protected from these shields, which is very cool. Um, so those are her two abilities there. And then, of course, we've got Graviton Surge, which is her ultimate ability. Cool. So Graviton Surge is really nice to use when your allies are ready. If we had a Reaper ultimate in the middle of that, boom. Easily wipe out an entire team if they're all clumped together. It pretty much sucks them all together and makes them stay there. They can't get out. Um, some people can escape the Graviton Surge. Genji, for example, can jump out of it. Mercy, if she can find an ally far enough away, can fly out of it. So there are a couple ways with abilities to escape a Graviton Surge. Uh, however, most allies will be pretty much stuck. Um, Reaper, I think, can uh, use his shift ability to get out of it, and of course, uh, May can ice wall. She won't be able to, or uh, ice block. She won't be able to move while ice blocked, but it'll at least make her immune from damage. So some uh, of your enemies can, you know, escape the negative effects of that graviton surge, but it's definitely a cool ability. And I've also seen some other nifty tricks. Like I'll show this one. All right, let's see if I can pull off something a little bit tricky here. Agon, pogotovnosti. Come on, robot, go back towards that thing. Ah, oh, I missed him. Anyway, um, what I've seen some people do, uh, the Graviton Surge A, it works through walls. So uh, even if you're on the other side of a wall, it will suck them towards it. And it can also suck enemies into pits. So if the enemy had fallen down here, he would have died. 
cool. So uh, if you're really good with that Graviton Surge, which clearly I wasn't just now, uh, you can pull off some interesting things. So let's jump into a single player game and see how she fares going up against actual enemies instead of just robots. So you can see I'm heading up to uh, Capture Point and I'm uh, popping into to try and capture. And uh, I s I'm gonna hear in about a second here a Reaper. So I know there's a Reaper down there attacking. I hear, see him hitting me. I pop up that shield. Notice I instantly, because I got a full blast from Reaper, went up to 50% uh, damage boost, which is pretty significant. Um, so that gives me a lot of damage here to go after this Reinhardt. Uh, pop it in there. So that's pretty cool. There he goes. And I should be able to help get him down a little bit because I've got a pretty significant damage boost still. Nice. Got the point. I claim this objective. Shortly thereafter, we're going to pop over to this area. I thought a Reaper was going to go after him, so I applied that shield, but kind of wasted it. Still, I pop up a shield on myself to get this Tracer. Got a little bit of a damage boost from her. Managed to take her down. Now, uh, watch the Tracer in front of me. Boom. I anticipated an attack because I knew she was rounding a corner. Notice how much of damage boost I got. So if you get a good, um, you know, shield on them, you will not only protect your uh, allies' life, but you will definitely boost your own damage significantly. Uh, but... Of course, notice that that damage boost does shrink over time, so you're going to have to get pretty good. Those shields definitely take a little work to get the hang of. You can see I'm going to pop it early here. Probably wasted it. Well, no, because I got a decent amount of a boost, so I did something right. Maybe it was putting it on the Lucio there. I think Lucio's damage was what helped me out. All right, new map here. Um, just, you know, showing another objective. Boom. Just popped another, uh, looks like that was a Widow that I put it on, and again, a 50% shield boost. Um, again, mostly, and then I pop it on myself, and it kind of, a good player will know not to hit you when you have a shield on, so you have to time it right. Like, you saw how quickly I got on that Widow. The other player didn't have time to react. I popped it on myself a little bit early, and Roadhog, you know, just turned away, right? So I prevented myself from taking damage and made Roadhog run away a little bit, but I definitely, you know probably used a little bit early. Unfortunately, Roadhog gets me here so close. Look at that. He has almost no health left, but he hit me. Nice. All right, so uh, again, popping down. Uh, we're going to see. I'm going to kill a couple of these. People jumping around here. Symmetra, an almost dead Widow. She gets the health back, but I take her down still anyway. I think she got the health back. Uh, here, um, a Bastion ult, and I'm trying to take out this Mercy, but I don't have much of a damage boost. So I'm going to pop a shield on the Reinhardt there, pop a shield on myself, and I got a decent boost. Bastion's out of his ult, and I should be able to take him down. Nice. He's going to try and jump into turret mode. No luck for you, Bastion. Alright, popping out here, watch Zenyatta. Going to shield him, and boom. Um, so, I think, again, the Roadhog was smart. I shielded him a little bit too early, and Roadhog was smart enough not to hit him after the hook, but at least I saved his life so that he could pop off that ultimate that he did. Nice. Take out the soldier. Uh, I hear a res went off somewhere in there, I think. So there's Symmetra. She's back. I'm going to help take her down. Like I said, you're a tank, so you're not going to be a huge amount of damage. Um, and I've not gotten so good at aiming with this because the cone of attack is pretty small. And I get sniped. And finally, watch Tracer. Boom, got a shield on her. 50% damage boost right away. Nice. Um, and then here's an example of how your ult isn't always going to save the day. I'm like, all right, there's a bunch of my friends by. I'm going to pop that ult. Roadhog unfortunately stunned me as soon as I grabbed the ult and was able to, you know, finish me off there. I thought I would be able to distract them, but oh well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed checking out the Zarya Spotlight. Uh, definitely, uh, as noted on the top right, three-star difficulty, meaning she's one of the more difficult um, characters to play. Um, your team needs to be pretty good uh, and needs to know how to kind of coordinate with you a little bit. Um, all the demos that I did today, I was playing in just random pickup groups and nobody was really using voice talk, so I was unable to really get a good example of how you can combine your ultimate with another player's. Um, but trust me, if you're in a group of friends or if you're playing with some players that are pretty well coordinated with each other, Zarya's ultimate can be extremely powerful and very deadly. Um, her damage boost can also be very good. As you notice, her cone of attack is really small. It's actually a little bit hard uh, to, to hit some enemies, and especially when it has no damage boost, it's pretty weak. It takes a large amount of damage to take anybody down. But if you get that damage boost up, they definitely, I could use a little practice aiming with her. I'm better at aiming with some characters than others. I haven't gotten the hang of Zarya that much, as you can probably tell. But um, I, I have the, the gist. I'm just not really good with her. Um, but try her out and play her a little bit, and you'll find that it's a lot of fun, especially, like I said, when playing with some of your friends. Um, 
taking ults with that shield or popping shields on your allies, definitely very cool. Um, and it's just a different character. It's a lot of fun to play with her. So Daryl20 signing off on the Zarya character spotlight. Hope you enjoyed checking it out. For now, Daryl20 signing off. Take it easy.